All right, so we're going to have to straighten out this texture. I'm going to turn it off at first, and then we're going to make some seams going around this building. Okay, the first seam, I'm going to separate the top of the building from the outside structure. This top of the building right here is going to be asphalt. So hold control and uh, shift and alt at the same time. Just shift and alt. Mark seam. Then I have to worry about unfolding the building. So I'm going to aim for the corners. And mark those as seams. Again, that was holding Shift and Alt to complete the edge loop all the way around. So what will happen is this will unfold. It will unfold again. And then it will fold down. And I will have to make a couple here. So always aim for the corners. If it's going to be a boxy structure like this, it works out rather well. Let's see what we have. Let's hit A, U, and unwrap. Now this is a, a not a bad setup, but what happens is there's a lot of distortion right in here. See these? These shouldn't be all jacked up like this. And if you look at the texture, you can see it's not flowing in the right directions. This one is, this one is not, no, oh, no, this one is, this one is not. So those white lines need to flow all the way around. And they need to be a lot straighter than that. Like this one looks almost correct. But it definitely has some problems when it gets into this area. So our job is to get it to flow as much as we can across the majority of the mesh in one direction. To do that, I will need to chop out some windows. I'm going to go back to solid mode. So I'm going to make a mark seam around every one of these windows. Clear seam on that one. Mark seam on that one. Now I could do that over here also. If I keep this button on, I can turn on edges and I can highlight edges. So let's say I highlight this edge right here. Notice it shoots me down here and I can just go in, hold shift and it'll highlight that edge. So I can do it also in my UV texture editor window. And sometimes this is a lot faster. Do it right here too. And right here. Okay, so we'll check to see if all windows have the red border on them. A, U, unwrap. Okay, that's much better. Now all my shells are a little bit more straight. And if I check that texture, you can see the majority of them are straighter. So here's some lines that are straight. Here's some lines that are straight. Where it's having problems is, is the windows. So how to fix that? is we start cutting relief cuts in the areas where the windows are. Mark seam, mark seam. We'll get everything relatively straightened out. And then in the next video, what we'll do is start aligning the shells in one direction. So I'm cutting each one of these corners. And can you do this at all at once? Um, what happens is if you try to do that, 
it's going to highlight the entire shell. So you got to be very careful about trying to use that. It's best just to go like this, mark seam. Now, if you get tired of hitting mark seam, you can right click and say change shortcut. And then we're going to use the letter M. So if I click here and then click over here and hit M, it'll mark the seam. So mark, mark. So it's a little bit faster. You can add a shortcut to just about any button by right clicking it and add shortcut. Now you're going to miss a couple, so don't get greedy. Just uh, go through this as fast as you can. And then we can always unwrap and then fix things. Just the corners. Okay, A, U, unwrap. Whoops. A, U, unwrap. Okay, now anyone that is just a little bit more jacked up like this right here, those are the only ones that need fixing. So again, mark seam, mark seam. It looks like this one. Good. A U unwrap. See, I told you there's always one little one left over. And it likes to jump out for some reason. So if you get that same error that I am, where it just kind of automatically focuses out, just uh, surf back in. All right, that looks a lot better. Okay, look, let's look at the texture. Now these white lines do not have to touch. That's not the, that's not the thing about these lines. These lines have to go all in the same direction and be straight. But right now, they're straight. And in the next video, we're going to focus in on making them all go in the right direction. So when you are done with this part, please move on to the next video.